Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny G's Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure this 2006 Honda Stepwagon. It's got 91,500 kilometers on it, which is approaching 57,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's going to have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to uh, please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Honda Stepwagon is an 8-passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about $55 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April-May time frame, so we're going to take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next April-May. Now, you do have um, two ways to pay for it. First one being U.S. dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you get a very, uh, cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. All right, so with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby rolling. Okay, let's just sneak this in here. Let's uh, reset that trip. All right, 91,603 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. That blue one right there, that's your uh, temperature gauge. So it's going to be blue when the engine's cool, it'll be red, or uh, it'll go away when the engine warms up, and then it'll be red if it's overheating, be on the lookout for that. Then the one to the left is your emergency brake. This one's a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away, kick it again, comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, uh, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster, however, it's quite long, okay? Uh, anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? But look, real quick, uh, over oh, way off to the left, that's going to be your controls that you have for your air conditioning. Over here you have your mileage and fuel. This is where most of the warning lights are going to be and your RPMs and speed, okay? Now in front of the, on top of the dash, you do have two compartments for uh, storage, okay? Then you got your radio and monitor. This one does have a rear camera. Air conditioning controls, um, shifter, a couple compartments for storage, another little one for storage. I'm not exactly sure what you put in there. Um, a uh, cup holder and uh, maybe some coins. And then another uh, little compartment for storage. And then you do have a power outlet right there. Then you have your glove box. And then a little bit of storage on each door panel along with a cup holder. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. And this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back. All the way, or hold on, not all the way down, sorry. Yeah, now it's all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, I'm comfortable right where I am. I could actually slide this forward if need be, okay? And then it does have the armrests. Um, and it also has a, a sunglass compartment. And now if you push this almost until it closes and let it go, it's going to give you a mirror so you can see your rear passengers a little bit better, okay? Uh, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like in most vehicles, Okay. I like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. Um, and, it, and some will actually try to discredit this. Stop by, we'll explain why. But uh, this is graded number four from the auction with a C and B on the exterior interior. So it's a really good grade for this. And this is going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. Let's show you a couple other items. Uh, before we go to the uh, second row. So this guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader, electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway, okay? And then, um, turn this off so there's less noise, take that out. If you leave the uh, key in the ignition while the door is open, it's gonna beep. So a little compartment here for some storage. This does have dual power sliding doors. And then this one right here, that's your uh, to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. Then a compartment here for some coins or whatnot. You have your gas cover release and then your hood release. Okay, please don't forget the gas cover release there. And then you have your mirror, door lock, mirror, door lock, and window controls all right here. All right, so let's put this key back in. Let's go to the back. So these open up from the left side. 
Just pull it one time and it goes. All right. All righty. Oops. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I am about uh, four inches away from the back of the seat to my knees. Each seat back does have pocket storage. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And then cup holders on each sliding door. Uh, this one does have the ability to go forward. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. All right, so if I go forward, as you can see, I, I can't make it uh, going straight. So I'm going to leave this all in the back position so you can see um the space in the uh, third row and then it does have the controls here for the fan uh for the rear and then it does have vents that go all the way back all right and no center console or yeah no center console on this one now to get to the back all you're going to do is pull this up this is going to go down and it's going to flip up all one action very very simple the other side is going to do that as well so it's very very easy to get to the back seat on these all right all you gotta do is pull that one time and it goes. Open this up. Here's your rear space. Space back here. So it's pretty sufficient space. You do have the ability to slide this forward or not. And then you can see an arrow here. To put it up against the side, there's an, another arrow. I don't know where it is, but oh, here it is. So you gotta line up these arrows in order to put the seat up like as is, okay? But then you're going to have uh, the cup holders over on that side. Oops. Let's go to the front here. Show the engine compartment. And it does have some aftermarket wheels on there. I'm going to wrap this video up after this. All right, there, there it is, the good old VTEC. Uh, this is a 2-liter VTEC, nice and clean. And that's it, 2006 Honda Stepwagon. 91 and a half thousand kilometers on it, which again approaches 57,000 miles. Uh, military price goes down to 4,800. With additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,600. Again, while you're here, um, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 4, 8, uh, the 4,600 is going to include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper uh, warranty, the um, 2023 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best of the Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash out rate. We're taking advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.